Can we get a big round of applause? She is an absolute legend. To have her here, uh, we are... We are really blessed. Give it up for Mark's mom, Shirley Ballas. How you doing? Love you to meet you. Dominic, welcome to All Access. I'm going to give you these. Yes, that we rhinestoned it up especially for you. And of course, this dancing world is one that you have lived in your whole life. That's correct. As far as Dancing with the Stars, I mean, there is nothing better, is there, on the planet, if you're a dancing fan, than the show. I think the show is the most, uh, in my industry, it's brought so many social dancers together and so many different people from all walks of life into dance studios. I mean, it started in Great Britain, it's spread all over the world, so it's been an amazing show and continues to be. All right, we're going to show you some pictures now. Take a look at this little kid here and tell us about what he was like back in those days. I mean, <laughs> we have so many fans out there of Mark. They send in their questions. They are super fans of your son. Yeah. We look back at these photos. Tell us about that kid. I mean, when, when, did, he, when did he know that well, dancing he, was his life? Well, dancing with the, he started to dance when he was about four years old. Always dressing up. Everything had to be in a costume. I don't think I ever saw him in anything where he wasn't all dressed up. So he just had that naturally. And he took to music and dancing like just a duck to water. So he's a very special little boy. And uh, he's really enjoyed the growth. And being on this show is kind of like the highlight of uh, all his dance career. When it comes to creativity, man, uh, there's Mark Ballas and then there's everyone else. He is just incredible what he comes up with in his mind. And I think that he, all the other celebs and the pros that come up with, they always go, man, we really don't know what to expect from Mark. Where does that come from? And how, how do you develop that in a young dancer? Well, I think he got a lot of that creativity from both his father and I. But his father was always a little quirky. <laughs> and he also liked to dress up and do things that were bizarre. But Mark's mind, he's always after entertaining the audience. And he once said to me, how many cha-cha-chas can you see? How many pasadoblés? So good marks or not good marks from the adjudicators, he always wants to entertain with different types of creativity. When you think about Dancing with the Stars, I mean, are you a super fan of oh, the I'm show? Oh, I'm a super fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and how great is it just when you talk about the family and the community that they have here on the show, all the work that goes into it. I mean, you're someone that's lived your life in this world. Just talk a bit on that, about how incredible this family is. I mean, obviously, your family's in the family, but you know what I mean? What, talk well, about that. Well, actually, my family's an extended family because all the Dancing with the Stars around the world, Great Britain, Italy, France, everywhere, I train most of the professionals that are on those shows. So that sometime or other, those professionals have passed through my my book, if you like, my yeah, calendar, yeah. and I've helped them grow. So my family is not just here. It's not just my children. It's all those professionals that have contributed towards making Dancing with the Stars or Strictly Around the World the amazing show that it is. Well, I tell you what, all the people that are out there now, it's a much younger audience. Dancing with the Stars is huge all around the world, and all the people out there, there are a lot of young kids that are dancers at heart. What, what advice would you give them now? I mean, you know, you're someone that's trained all sorts of dancers. Says, what would you say to them? Well, actually, my message would go to the parents. I had a philosophy with Mark, Derek, and Julianne to keep them totally in dancing till they're about 21. <laughs> so from a small age, I kept them busy. They never really had any free time. They stayed busy, whether it's singing, dance, music, or ballroom dancing. So I think young people of today really love it. I think the parents love it. But keep them totally in this industry because it is an amazing industry. All right, well, look, Mark's about to come up here, and we're, okay. we're going to um, have some fun with him in here. But when you talk about this season in particular, what, what, what do you like uh, about the couples that we have left? Well, of course, I love the duo between the husband and wife. I love the absolute charisma of Bindi. I think she's very inspirational. And I think almost every Tamar, she brings her way with her. I think everybody has something to offer. It's not a season where you can overcall it, I think. What, what do you do then to stand out? I think right now we get a lot of people telling us, there's fans out there, it's very difficult to call who's going to win this because the level and the skill, everyone's sitting in that same spot. What do you do to stand out in that situation? Well, I think it's a little bit of game with a professional. You have to have some creativity. You have to not be shy or scared to break some boundaries, even if perhaps you lose a point or two. It's okay because the, the audience is who are voting and I think they want to be entertained. They, they want to feel your performance. They want to see growth in your performance. They like the tears. They like the happy times. They like the journey. 
So it's important that they really see the real thing. Well, I tell you what, tonight is really interesting. One couple will get immunity, uh, but then there will be a dance-off. Now, these guys have had to learn three other dance yeah. styles as well as their, their, their first dance, their icon dance that they're going to be doing. Are we likely to see a lot of mistakes tonight? It feels <laughs> like you've got a celeb and you've got a professional. Four dances, one week, just doesn't add up. I think the audience should hold on to their hat. Hold on to your chair because I think we're going to see some mistakes. I think we're going to see all sorts of things, collisions and getting the dances mixed up because, like you say, it's a short space of time to fit in three immunity dances plus the main dance, which is most important. Look, I mean, you, you, you've been dancing in your family. We, we managed to drag up this clip. I don't know. Yeah, take a look at this. Look at this. This is extended. I mean, what is happening here? Well, this was Christmas and with Corky and the family, and we were doing a challenge with Derek and Julianne and their family against our family. So we had everybody <laughs> just having fun. And I have to say it was a blast because everybody was able to join in. What, where would your family be without dancing? I mean, what would you do? I mean, it's, it's so part of your DNA, isn't it? I sort of wonder sometimes if the show were to ever end. And what would we do with our Mondays? What, what would there to be looked forward to? So hopefully with everybody out there voting and watching in on the show, it's going to go for another 20 seasons. Yeah, I tell you what, you know, you've, you've had the opportunity, of course, to get to know um, Alexa. And, and what do you think about her? She's an incredible dancer, isn't she? But she's a great girl also. She's a very, very wonderful human being. Um, Christian lady and uh, she struggles a little bit with the self-belief and believing that she can do it but I think she has shown growth she's been in that bottom she's been in that elimination but I think she's really coming forward so let's hope she stays on today well, I tell you what he's, he's working very well with her yes. and they're the ones to beat there's a beautiful chemistry there what, what do you think is important when it comes to chemistry I mean how do you find that because sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not I mean what, what, what would you say I mean how do you find that it's such a weird thing to put your finger on I think you know the minute that the partner walks through the door if there's a connection and particularly after one or two practice sessions you can tell if you're going to be on the same page and I think at the beginning with the husband and wife team it kind of knocked the two professionals a little bit gave them a bump but they weren't used to that it bumped them yeah so it just took a couple of weeks to everybody get sorted and where they were so. this show seems to do that a lot though, yeah, doesn't it does. it? Just that's when what you makes get, it special just when you get settled they throw someone at you and yeah. tonight is a great example of that of course the first dance the couple will get immunity and they will not have to dance off. They'll be saved from the elimination tonight. How important do you think in the minds of these celebs and pros is it to try and get that immunity tonight? I actually personally don't think that they are thinking about being saved. I think they're just thinking about remembering choreography, going out there and doing the best that they can. And whoever gets that immunity then that's going to be wonderful. Look, one, one dance at a time, right? One dance at a time. Man, but I tell you what, oh, man, it's going to be a close run to the finish. And uh, this man here, who's just now I've seen, you know you know him, you know him, you've met him before, right? <laughs> <laughs> get on in here, Mark, come on. Look, look, can we get a round of applause? The, the ballast party is complete. <laughs> look at this. We've just been watching you dance at Christmas time, and we've also looked at some photos of you as a kid, Mark. There's all sorts of good times going all on. All of you dressed up. Hey? All of you dressed up in yes. your little outfits. Well, look, look, there's been some pretty creative costumes that this man, and we talked about his creativity. Can we take a look at some of these things that you've come up with? And, and, and <laughs> I mean, it's amazing. In front, of, yeah. in front of your mum right now, we, oh, we, I remember we, were that. we were talking about where that creativity comes from, and even the other pros and celebs come up here, and they're like, man, Mark's mind is very unique where does oh, it come you. from within you i don't know i think i just uh i i would say i'm more of a methodist like when i take on a character i have to be the character 100 percent. you know what i mean i can't really do like a a 70 percent version of something if i'm going to do it i have to do it 100 percent. you know and I, I think i get that from you know from my mom and from my dad that's I was what al i said yeah. i was always told and and taught to do it 100% all the time, so that's kind of where I come from. How do you find And that I have line? no shame either, yeah. that's the other thing, you know. Well, and I think the creativity kind of shows because you've got to be able to push the boat out and just yeah. believe in it. But, but both, of, both of you, how do you find that line between too much creativity and getting the dance right where there's still enough dance in there? Well, I think, I think well, the, what you wear doesn't define the dance. Like, at the end of the day, whether you do the dance in, you know, sweatpants and a t-shirt or whether you do it in costume, the material is still the same. So like I always starts with the song and the choreography for me, you know, and then we kind of we come up with the theme and the idea, but it's, it's like layers, like the foundation and the ground is is the song and the choreography, the content, the dance, and as long as that all comes and starts feeling great, once you add the other layers like the costuming, the staging, the set, 
you know, it just takes it to another level, but, you know, you have to have a strong foundation. I do, I do want to just say one thing to the audience, that when he's got his makeup on and he goes back to his trailer, it takes me an hour to make him take his makeup off. He never wants to take it off. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mum. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Good one, Thanks a lot. Well, look, uh, talking about taking it to the next level, uh, look, at, can, can we just show this footage? And we found them. This is you guys actually doing a bit of dancing together. Oh. We put a bit of music to it. We hope you like it. Can we play this? Come on, take a look. Oh, God. <laughs> when I did your blocking for you. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this was the Edward Scissorhands piece. This is like the bare bones. And I had to do the camera blocking with you, didn't I? This is the, the blueprint, if you will. This music, though, <laughs> it's not as I cool with like, this I music. Know, I don't know who to blame, but I um, do, Joe Zunka. <laughs> <laughs> God, you must get a laugh, though. I mean, look, what, what a fun thing to be able to do as, as, a, as a son and, and, and to your mum. I mean, what, what, what's it like to, to be able to learn so much from your mum and also to share this with someone that really knows and gets this world? First of all, he's got to keep up with me. That's the thing. That's, That's, true. Going. That's true. She, she, will, she will put us all to shame still at, at, at your age right now. You oh, kill at, us my all. Age. Okay. at my age. At my age. Thanks, Mum. What's he doing? <laughs> but I mean, to be still able, got it, Mum. Yeah, to be able to share this world with someone that really understands, you know, what's that been like? No, it's it's great because people always ask me like, how do you keep things fresh and interesting and not, you know, recycle and whatnot, you know? And I, and on the off season, I can always go in with mom for an hour or two and take one of the girls and we have a lesson. And she always teaches me new things. Like I constantly feel like I'm learning new things. Like I never, you can never, especially in this industry, like you can never it's feel like you so know fast. too much. And and it's and it's constantly evolving. Like even the professional world where it was 10 years ago or five years ago, it's drastically different now. And because mom's so plugged in, she's one of the top coaches in the world. Um, she's constantly moving with the time. So when I come in for lessons, I'm always learning something new. So it's 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 great. It really is. Well, well Mark, you've got to take off. But last question before you do, cast your mind back to when you first found out that you were going to be part of this world. Yeah. What was that like? Did you tell your mom? How, how did it happen? Was, well, it, we were all together. I got a, I got the phone call at the house. And Der me, Derek, and mom all got the call. And I remember just hanging up the phone. I was like, should we just go? Like, we weren't really up to anything else in England. My mom was like, go. Like, we got the call on a Friday. We moved out to Los Angeles on a Sunday. And, and I moved had, out the following gave week. gave us one day to, to, to get out here, you know, and... Um, it was, it's been ever since. We've been here ever since. Well, so man, well, you're doing a, a great job. Best of luck um, tonight. It's going to be fantastic. I'm going to take care of your mum up here. Yep. And, take uh, care of her. Yes. All right. See you guys later. Okay. Thank you, guys. Woo. And, of course, some big dancers. Hopefully only one dance on the way for Mark. But, yeah, like, they had to learn four dancers. And we am sure living in, in, in the dance world, as you have, you've, you've got relationships with all these. Certainly the one in the middle. Of course, with <laughs> Julianne. And I've known Bruno. I mean, he's traveling back and forth to England and here. And I know him very well. And Carrie Ann, yes. Well, look, speak on there, um, the success of both the Hoffs uh, within the show. What's that been like for you to watch? Because you were there at the start. And look how far they've come. Well, I had Julianne came when she was about nine and Derek when he was 11. I mean, I'm, he's still asking me to pack his bag for next week. <laughs> so um, it's been an incredible journey and I'm very proud of everything they've done with their tours and how they are also very creative. And, of course, Julianne's gone from singing to actressing to on the show, off the show. Yeah. So she's a multitasker. She There's nothing that she can't do. So for me, that's amazing to watch. And what is it about Utah? We seem to have so many people that come out of the Utah dance scene uh, and then succeed on the show. Is there something in the well, water? No, because in Utah, we have like the Vibe Studio and we have some huge studios that cater to ballroom, Latin, jazz, ballet, tap all styles they do all styles so the children can go and they can do five or six styles not just ballroom and latin so the the parents tend to ship them off there for the day and then they learn all these different things and produce these kind of dances oh, absolutely incredible dancers yeah.